Let me welcome Bettina Gonzalez to this uh, small interview. Um, Bettina Gonzalez is an extremely well-known novelist in Argentina and throughout the Spanish-speaking world. Bettina, welcome once again to NYUBA's spaces to, to have a chat. Thank you, Ana. We're here to celebrate you. Indeed, you will be publishing a book in the English language. I've seen it described as something very uh, alluring, um, distorted realism. Is this somehow related to some of the experiences that you had uh, living in the United States as a student? Well, the novel has a number of sources. One is, of course, my experience in Pittsburgh as a graduate student. I spent like, um, seven years of my life there, so it's a lot of time. Uh, it was a city that had a lot of neighborhoods that were depressed, economically depressed, and a lot of people were um, left behind. And that is something that we find in Latin America uh, too, right? So um, that was the main thing that was a contradiction for me, if you think about the American dream and the image that the US projects of itself. Yeah. Also in the novel, there are um, some people who are against capitalism and they go to the roots. The idea is that you um, refuse to adapt to the system. And this idea of going back to nature is very powerful in the novel. Do you have any thoughts on any one of those characters, any secrets from the kitchen that you could <laughs> share with us? Well, it's, it was important for me to have um, this variety, you know, to have people from different ages and backgrounds. What I try to do is to uh, reimagine the 60s and the 70s from my point of view, because I, I have always been fascinated by the utopia, you know, the idea of a community, a, a group of people living together uh, in a structure that goes beyond the family, the traditional family. And this is one of the topics in the novel, right? It is, it is, is it possible to find a different way of organized society? It seems to us from the, from the present impossible to think about alternatives. So what I like to the what I like about the CCs is, is that that seems possible. Yeah, I, I'm also really interested in this um, sort of opportunity to reflect again on um, questions of, of nature and how the natural world is out of kilter and how we can or should be thinking about responding to that and, and hopefully finding ways to repair some of the, certainly the damaging behaviors, right? Um, uh, is this also something that has been on your mind? I will say it is a question. It's a question. Um, I think any fiction begins with a question. And when you finish writing that piece, you find different questions. So this idea of, of the imbalance we are living in our present is, is in the novel. And I think it's the obscure song of the novel. It's very, um, I don't know, very mysterious. I, I prefer to leave to the reader um, the final judgment. If that society could be possible, if, could, if we can go back to nature, if we can relate to it in a different way to the animals and you know the plants and the, and the planet. Um, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Anna. <laughs>